So this is a video about off-white, um, a brand or a way of thinking, um, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, so the question is, is it genius or pleonasm? Um, so this video is a discussion, um, which you should feel free to join in the comments. Um, I myself am not an expert on the topic, definitely not. Um, this is merely a, a view from the sideline, I guess you could say. Um, to your information, uh, I don't own any of white. Um, however, I find several of the pieces from the different collections um, and also some of the thoughts conceived from the brand attractive and um, the root for some reflection. Um, so the genius behind the brand is that um, the thoughts that are which are the basis of the brand um, they thrive in both critique and praise in a way. Um, the whole thought behind Off-White is um, that the brand is neither white nor black, it's, it's off-white, it's in the middle. Um, that is a very engaging thought and Virgil Abloh at the same time um, claims that um, the incentive for the brand is that a young kid from Chicago, which he is, um, can also become a fashion designer, equivalent to um, the, the fashion elite. At the same time, he explains that streetwear, um, he advocates that streetwear should be equivalent to the, the fashion elite, to the high end, to the really top of the fashion chain. Um, he often says in interviews and certain lectures, which you can find, I'll link some lectures in the, the description below, they are quite interesting, I think the thoughts behind the brand are really interesting, but he often says that um, he is somewhere uh, a mix between Celine and, um, and Supreme, in a way, combining the two or a mix between them. Yeah, um, therefore he also introduced uh, the term everything in quotes, um, which means that he is now literally putting everything in quotes and merely, um, and thereby putting it on clothing, putting simplistic um, terms on, on clothing. Um, in a way, he's redundantly explaining something which um, people or the audience um, of or the receiver of the clothing um, indirectly is is aware of. So the pleonasm, um, this is really where the pleonasm comes in, as Virgil Abloh now uses the uh, quotes in such a manner that it becomes pleonastic and or superficial. Um, Often pleonasm is understood to mean um, that a word or phrase, uh, which which is in a way useless um, or cliché or used repetitively, um, and you could definitely say that about uh, Virgil Abloh putting everything in quotes and then putting it on clothing, explaining the specific clothing or the, the specific object. And that makes it redundant and pleonastic uh, by definition, I think. Um, however, uh, that being said, um, his new shoe collection with Nike, um, which thrives also from the idea that um, you should uh, be able to see the process, the construction process, through the finished product, um, that, that's really interesting because it allows the question on whether or not a product is finished um, to be raised, really. Uh, which I think is really exciting. Uh, Virgil Abloh is also a strong advocate of customizing yourself and strongly advocates um, creative thinking. Um, this is of course very positive, I think. The pleonasm also means that you could almost say the quotations um, have become a, a meme, in, meme in itself. Um, if this was the plan all along from Virgil, um, then it is truly a well thought out plan. Um, he has himself said that um, culture thrives on irony. Um, so if that's the goal, then he has definitely succeeded, I think, in a way, because you can see more people making, kind of, um, on the internet, realizing that it, it might be ironic the way they, they use these uh, quotations, or the way he uses it. Um, however, I think um, there is also a chance the whole brand will become unserious or too pleonastic, making it less interesting, I think. Um, I think that was the problem with Ben Trill, for an example, which evidently uh, Virgil Abloh also admitted was 
practically a joke. Or it wasn't really wholeheartedly his project, project he said, after it failed, <laughs> of course. Um, so becoming a meme isn't necessarily the most positive reference for a brand. Um, even though we've also seen the campaigns from Gucci um, directly using memes as a, uh, as a commercial for the product. So in a way, you could ask the question whether or not using memes is actually, or irony, is the only way to target uh, younger audiences as it has, been such, it has become such a big part of, um, of the daily life or the way we engage with each other. It is, in a way, both genius and pleonastic. Um, However, this is just my reflections. Um, I'd like to know what you think. You can comment in the description or, yeah, you can just comment in the description, yeah. Um, so is Off-White innovative and in a way genius or is it becoming redundant with the repeating patterns of the quotations? I'd like to know. Also, you can find me on uh, Instagram and Tumblr if you feel like it. Um, and here you can find some inspiration of things that might also be very generic. So thank you for watching, I guess. Um, a short video, it's of course discussion based, um, and I hope to do some more of these if you guys like it.